Hello and welcome to this part of tutorial of C programming series. In this part, we will learn about conditional compilation. First question which you should ask yourself is why conditional compilation is necessary and what is conditional compilation? Conditional comp compilation is a mechanism by which you exclude or include certain piece of code depending on environment or operating system or hardware. Why we need conditional compilation? The answer lies in the fact that you want to write portable program. By portable I mean that you want to compile the same piece of program across various hardware or operating system. These operating system may be Windows or Mac OS, may be Linux, Solaris, BSD, HPX, IBM, AIS. Hardware can range from x86 architecture to 64-bit architecture or embedded hardware RISC process or CISC processor. There are six macros if, else, if def, if, if and def, l if and n def, which help us achieve conditional compilation. If and elif take an expression for evaluation. Others do not take an expression. If def and if and def check a macro for definition and else is just like else of if. This is very similar to our control flow statement if, else if and else. That is we have if, hash if, hash else and hash elif. And if is used to indicate the termination of these if statements or rather I should say if macros. So let's see a program in action for this. I have written a function sum and mul and I have called sum and mul over here. I have defined two macros windows and linux and I check if defined windows then this code will be included and we have end of and if defined linux then we have this piece of code and the calls are also in the same way if defined windows if defined linux note that you do not need to have some value for windows just having a hash define is enough for definition let us run this program you see sum and mul both are called however if we remove this line then you will find that mul is not being called anymore and the other way to use is you write ndef if not defined so this is the reverse of if defined now Linux is not defined so I can say if it is not defined note that this is grayed out now because it checks for if this if defined so I can say if in this here so you see how your function call is affected based on this you can also use hash f and hash lf and hash else but 
for these you will have to give some expression zero for false and any non zero for positive to use f elif and else and this also should be terminated with end f now here we have said hash defined windows and here we have said hash defined linux typically when programming you do not write hash defined what you do is you go to the properties and in the settings of compiler you put a flag like minus b windows this will define windows as a macro so here you may see that windows section is grayed out as well as linux section but windows will be defined by compiler which is 11 so some work now typically you do not call compiler manually you call it through make file there are build systems which generate make files like auto tools or cmake eclipse supports auto tools and you should learn auto tools as well because all unix systems support auto tools cmake generates make files and these build tools dynamically check your system for uh, existing existence of particular processor, library, functions, if function is not available, alternate functions, maybe size of pointer, size of integer, whether it is 2 byte or 4 byte and things like that. And accordingly, it defines appropriate macros to include or exclude certain piece of code. Now this code may be specific to Windows while this code may be specific to Linux and you may want to call one of these, not both of these, most of the time when you write portable code and you do conditional compilation. So that is the trick while doing conditional compilation and uh, it is pretty simple we have only six macros and we have seen all six of them if def, if and if, and if are simple if and elif take an expression and else if else does not take an expression if elif, else and end if are same as if else and else if control statements so that's it for conditional compilation and See you in our next session. Till then, happy coding.